Hey guys, Sam here with a tutorial on how to use this Infantino squeeze station. If you saw my last video, which I will link up in the corner, um, you know that I make my own baby food. This was my absolute favorite product that I learned about this time around. I was looking into getting pouches for my baby because we were on the go a lot when Zane first started eating food. I knew that I needed pouches. When I started looking into them, I found that there were a few different kinds that you could use like a funnel for and they could fill from the side or from the bottom and those just didn't seem very, what's the word, convenient for me. So I looked into this Infantino squeeze station and I absolutely love this thing. So I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So the Infantino squeeze station does come with a few of its own packets. These little squeeze with a lid on top but it only comes with a limited amount of those and these are not reusable. You can buy extras of these, however, they were not like horribly expensive, but still, if I'm just gonna throw these away all the time, that's a lot of waste, which I didn't like, and it was constantly having to order them from Amazon, and if I was in a pinch, I didn't want to have to go and order and not be able to make my baby food. So I went through a ton of reviews on baby food pouches. The ones that I ended up going with are these simple modern pouches. They're a fairly big pouch and I was a little nervous about that at first but you don't have to fill them all the way. They each have their own screw off cap. They open from the bottom just like that so that you can clean them out after you're done. I just usually rinse them in some soapy water or let them sit in some soapy water for a little bit and then take a scrub brush and get them all nice and and then let them air dry. I'm going to show you first how to use these in this machine and then how to use these. All right, so excuse my squeeze press. Um, it is a little discolored because I have used it so much and with sweet potatoes that change the coloring on it. Out of the box, it comes with like 20 of these, this little press, and then here is the main machine. And I actually store mine in this box still. I just put it in there and put it in my cupboard. It comes with three of these. This is actually the spout that you put the baby food in when you are making it, which I will show you in just a second. This is all of your stuff. Now let's get down and dirty and show you how to use it. Okay, we're gonna start by showing you guys these Infantino squeeze pumps. So as you can see, the sides have ridges. The Infantino pouch goes in just by this ridge, the ridge right here, and just push it all the way back. You can see this right here. And all that you do now is you pour food through the top, press this down. As you can see, the bag actually filled up with air. And then you just take this out, undo the top, pull it out, Attach your lid and your pouch is ready to go. It's pretty close to the same thing with these pouches. First of all, you want to make sure with these pouches that the zipper is pushed all the way shut. I have had a few instances where I went to put this on and it wasn't shut and the baby food started to leak out the bottom. But if you just really quickly press against there, did you hear that snap? It's just like a Ziploc bag. You know when it's shut. So we can't put it in with these top bridges, so you're gonna put it with these bottom ones. And then I put the top in first and then push that right in. Now with these, because it is bigger, they do slide around, but it's not really a problem. Okay, now that you guys know how to load it, I'm gonna just show you how I do it in sequence. Okay, so I'm gonna load the machine. You see how they're kind of bent down here? That is just because they're a little bit bigger. So now, if you over tighten these, they will unscrew so they, they will go through the threads. So be sure not to over tighten them. Now we're going to add the baby food. 
this is pretty thin, so we don't have to do much with it, but push that down in. I like to do it this way because it's less mess. So I just pull that off, put it on, the lip off again. Then I can just take these and clean them for, for the next round. And then you have your pouches done. And there we go. And that is our tutorial of the Infantino Squeeze Station. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below. We'll see you again next time. Bye.